All right, today we're gonna be talking about the Falcom, whatever they're called. I don't even know who this is from. I know it's a Chinese company because it is made in China. <laughs> I don't know if the company is even Chinese. It says Ulanzi, but it doesn't really matter. But the whole point of these things is a whole ecosystem for quick releasing your different gear. Shotgun mics, lighting, monitors, anything. Falcom had a ton of variations, a ton of accessories that all were interchangeable, which made the whole quick release system ideal for a video production company. Well, I bought a ton of these. I'm not one of these guys that buys one and done. I'm like, Ooh. that'll work. Obviously I have to buy 20 of them. Can I put this down? But this thing comes in two different sizes the f38 and the f22 sounds like jet fighters but it's not naturally i bought both of them both are small, small as fuck if i was in my garage and had a dslr what are those the the rebels canon cameras these would be great because a rebel is like what half a pound but if you're using the, the gear where you're rigging out your camera this little doohickey thing is not going to do much how are you supposed to trust thousands of dollars on like a half of an inch we don't use these that much. You have to get camera specific cages to really maximize the time with these things. Now, if I have to continually add this plate to add to this plate to then put on the tripod, that's not very quick. So it defeats the whole idea of quick release, right? The friction arms, they're great. They do allow you to accessorize in, in a lot of different ways, but the whole point of this thing is the quick release system. Gotta go fast. So there's tons of products out there that allow you to accessorize your kit rig out your camera however you want to and you could be way more comfortable in the safety of your gear because it's locked on this stuff is so tiny I don't know if you want to put that much faith in such a tiny thing so another issue with these plates if you're not in the right hole <laughs> you're gonna get some kind of binding issue it's gonna stick in there and then when you're trying to quickly release it which it won't be because it's, it's stuck it's gonna loosen the plate and then you may actually drop the camera. The whole point of using plates is to secure your gear and if you're trying to jerk it out, you might lose grip of your camera, especially if you have a battery plate, and then you're out several thousand dollars. I almost dropped this bitch. I love the idea of the cage. This is the first cage that I've come across that feels like there's a purpose. It's a tool versus just accessory. That being said, I don't want to buy 17 cages for all the cameras. Oh look, another camera. Well, this is the camera that has the cage on it. What's cool about this cage is the fact that you could pop it in here, you could pop it over here. Only if you're using the Falcom system. This cage doesn't work with your standard RA plates. You would actually have to put an RA plate. This one is supposed to go into this guy. Boom. Crap. I messed up. Now it's stuck and I dropped the damn thing. Well, this ecosystem is extremely good if you're a solo shooter. If you're one guy, one gal with all your gear and you need to quickly go back and forth with all the gear that you have. I want gear that's going to work for our lower end Canon EOS R. I say lower end because the Canon EOS R is still a nice camera and also work for are red. When you have a team, when you have a lot of gear, you want gear that can be used on everything. If I buy a monitor, I want to use it on the R, the R6, the R6 Mark II, the Black Magic Pockets, or a red Komodo. If it's a gear specific accessory, I can only use it for that one singular camera. And as a company that has a team environment, that's just not economically viable. I'm all about buying everything, buying all the gear. I'll take your entire stock. But if we only use it for one purpose, that's not a smart business decision. Shit is expensive and it's Chinese. Just like everything in the camera gear world, you can make it work. So if we want to have the red be connected to the quick release plate, connected to the other quick release plate, connected to the Sattler. I don't even know what's going on anymore. You basically have to connect this thing. This is like 200 bucks for a plate. This plate got to connect with this plate, but then you got to connect this plate to this plate. Do you ever watch that shitty rig uh, Instagram? That's what it feels like. When this gear is attached to each other, it doesn't give you confidence that you're going to put your twenty thousand dollar camera rig on this tiny plate it's scary these are great for like the solo cam for the higher end stuff save your money buy some miles if you don't listen to me and you do watch all those other youtube affiliate shows or like hey, buy this. you get this little multi-tool i have never used this ever but so hill loves this thing he uses it for pretty much everything other than a screwdriver what is this for it's just a screwdriver oh my god so hill it's ridiculous buy this if you have a deal DSLR. If you're spending a thousand dollars on a monitor, don't put it on this thing. If you're spending a couple hundred bucks, you're fine.